Hey, Andrew Wolf here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the cellular components of the hematologic system. And here we have in front of us a table that shows uh, the progeny of the multipotent hematopoietic stem cell. Now, this stem cell lives in our bone marrow in, and in um, children. It lives in the bone marrow of long bones like our femur and our humerus. Um, but as adults, this, um, this actually gets filled in with fatty tissue. The shaft, uh, the bone marrow within the shaft of our bones becomes filled in, uh, filled in with adipose tissue. And so as adults, most of our hematopoiesis occurs in our pelvis and in our scapula and our sternum and our skull and actually a little bit in our ribs too so um, these are sort of the flat the flat bones in our body um, so within you know the outside of the bones are made up of um, very firm compact bone and the inside is made up of spongy bone so if you see a if you see a cross-section of a flat bone, you're going to have the compact bone here on the outside, and then on the inside you're going to have spongy bone. And spongy bone has all sorts of pores in it, and the pores is where, um, where we have our bone marrow, which is filled with cellular material. So inside our bone marrow, um, we have a number of, of hematopoietic stem cells that can, um, under direction of various cytokines like interleukin-5, interleukin-11, um, var various uh, cell stimulating factors, um, they are programmed to divide and differentiate into either the uh, myeloid line or the lymphoid line. So there are two um, big classifications in the hematologic system. There is the myeloid line of cells and there is the lymphoid line. Now I'll talk about the lymphoid line first because it's sort of the easiest because the lymphoid line um, when matured um, makes natural killer cells and um, T lymphocytes, T cells and B cells. The myeloid line we can make megakaryocytes which make platelets otherwise known as thrombocytes and erythrocytes or red blood cells um, basophils neutrophils eosinophils and monocytes now most of this is occurring inside the bone marrow so all of these cells here mature in, actually, let me draw it like this. All of these cells here mature inside the bone marrow, except for the lymphocytes. So this is all occurring inside the bone marrow. The lymphocytes um, both T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes, um, when they mature to the point, when they become immature cells called pro T lymphocytes and pro B lymphocytes, they actually migrate to the lymph organs and, f and complete their maturation inside the lymph tissue where they will become mature T cells and B cells. Okay, so all these other cells mature inside the bone marrow and are. Um, and migrate out of the bone marrow as mature functional cells. Okay, so the cells that we are going to talk about in coming slides are the erythrocytes, and the cell fragments called platelets, the um, granul the white blood cell granulocytes and they're called granulocytes because under the microscope they have granules that stain and these would be neutrophils 
basophils and eosinophils. And then we have the monocytes and we have the lymphocytes. Okay, so this makes up six, six different cells that make up the differential. So if we have a complete blood count, we will have erythrocytes, neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, monocytes, and lymphocytes. And then, um, so six different cells, and then the platelets are cell fragments.